and welcome back to Happy Place Cooking. If you have not yet become a subscriber, please go on down and hit that button. It's completely free and there is no obligation. Make sure you ring that little bell next to the subscribe button. That way you'll get notified whenever I upload new content. Today I am going to be making a quick, easy bread that does not require yeast. I like this because I don't always have yeast on hand. So a lot of the breads and the pastries and the things that I make never have yeast. And this one, I have not done this particular recipe before, but I'm going to give it a go. It sounds like it should work okay. I need a little bit of bread. I'm gonna make some nochi tonight and we need something to go with it. And I think bread is a good option. First thing we're starting with is three cups of uh, all-purpose flour. I'm going to add in one and a half tablespoons of baking powder, one tablespoon of sugar, and I have a half a teaspoon of salt. Now I am just going to go ahead and mix those dry ingredients around. And that should be good enough. Next, I'm going to add in two tablespoons of oil. I'm using olive oil. You could use butter if you prefer. And I have one and a fourth cup of milk. You could also use a, you could also use water. Okay. Mix that all up until it forms a nice dough. And I do have the bread attachment, but I figured this will probably work just fine. I'll just get it to mix up mostly and then I'll do the rest. Just kind of mix it together by hand if I need to. I may not need to. Kind of looks like it's mixing well. Oop! Went the wrong way. Oops! <laughs> Yeah, that don't look too bad at all. That's a nice dough. Okay. The recipe states to line your pan with parchment and to put the dough on a counter with a little bit of flour and get it shaped into a, uh, a ball or an oval. And I'm not going to do either of those. I'm going to be using this, uh, my Pampered Chef pan that I've you know, I love these Pampered Chef stoneware pans. And I'm just going to kind of shape it into a ball while it's in the bowl. No sense in making a big old mess all over my countertop. I'm just going to get that all nice and shaped up. You could, I suppose, uh, grease your pan. But if your stoneware has enough kind of a non-stick from having been used, you don't really probably need to do that. I won't tell you not to, but I'm not going to do it. Just going to get that nice and in a ball. I want it to be nicely shaped. Just kind of don't want it all split top there. All right. I'm going to oval that up just a little bit. Just a little bit more. There we go. Kind of bread looking. My oven is preheated or is preheating to 400 degrees. This will need to cook for probably 25 to 30 minutes. Once it is done, then I'll let it cool for a little bit and I'll give it a taste test. Um, I may, if it's not browning real well on top, I may come back and brush it with some milk or egg wash or butter or something to see if I can get a little bit of a brown on the top. Well, that turned out really pretty. It is so nice and brown. I did pull it out a couple of minutes before it was to be done and put some milk on it so that it would hopefully brown up a little more. It ended up cooking for about 35 minutes. 
but I wanted to make sure it was nice and done. And yes, I did kind of split it open. I wanted to make sure that it wasn't doughy inside. But yes, about 35 minutes at that 400 degrees. And once it was done and it cooled just slightly, I rubbed some uh, real butter all over it. And I'm ready to cut this up and give it a bit of a taste. There it is. And I made this to go with the lemon butter nochi and uh, cashew milk mozzarella that I did not make any of that that was all packaged just cooked it and so here's the bread and it's got a nice fluff to it really I'm just gonna take a little bite off of here nice crispy crust A bit of a uh, bit more of a biscuit type texture, but it is really, really, really good. It's going to go great with this. Thanks for watching and happy eating!